Welcome. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Good, good, You're good. late. You're late for class. I yeah. was in the parking lot waiting. <laughs> so here's a little gift from Mammy Spring. Oh, Some that's nice so nice. Goodies. Thank you. I appreciate yes, that. Yes, of course, of course. Welcome. Actually, it's so funny that you were telling me the story. You got to so sign, you gotta sign in. This, video here. this is how we opened the school this year, our opening of schools. It does from the first class all the way to last year. So it's about a two minute video. It loops again in a moment. So I got pictures from all the way from the beginning all the way to last year in terms of stuff we've been oh, doing yeah? here at the school. Can we get a... Uh... This is on YouTube. Oh, it is? Yeah, this is on our Miami Springs Senior High YouTube. Okay, cool. So, oh, I knew one of the teachers. I loop. saw one of the teachers there, Anna yeah. Drew. Yeah, 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 she's still here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Start over again. I oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You good? Good. Welcome to Miami Springs Senior High, home of the Golden Hawks. My name is Daniel Benat. Yes. No, I'm, no, I have no face mask. I'm one. gonna see if I have one. If I have one, I'll give it to you, okay? Good, good job. Good. Dale, enjoy your lunch. <laughs> Welcome to Miami Springs Senior High, home of the Golden Hawks. Once a hawk, always a hawk. It's my fourth year here as activities director, and I've been learning so much about the proud history of this building. So one of the first things I wanna show you here in the main lobby, something we just did recently is, throughout the school, there's been a huge military presence. Yeah. So what we did was, it was all over the school. So we've actually now moved it all to the main lobby. Okay. Yeah, so we we're actually gonna get a banner one of, here. One of our classmates, mm -hmm. her brother is a Medal of Honor winner. Right, uh, right. So these Carter. were all, all over the building. So we decided to have it right at the entrance of the school now. You know, and our social studies honor society, their job's gonna Period. be to continue the research and see who else we can add. You know, now with um, Operation Desert Storm and Afghanistan and Iraq, we wanna add to this because we know that there is a long history of military service here in Miami Springs. So this is a new pet project we're working on now for the front entrance. You That's know? great, God bless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something new that we, the, the Yes, we, so we've added these TVs for both announcements and just videos showing the history of the school, you know? And now when we do our check-in, you come in here and check in so that you can go to the office and do whatever you need here at the school. So, and we've expanded from this, but these are some of the original first clubs and their club logos here. Uh, we now have over 30 different clubs at the school. Wow. But many of these still exist here today. We still have them here as clubs, you know? So I think that's super cool. We used to have here, I remember benches uh, over here. Oh yeah? And over here. Ah, okay. And, yeah, yeah, most of our things now outdoors. Yeah, you have So most of our kids do the open shelters. Different for crowds hung things. out in different benches, yeah, yeah. if I remember correctly. Hey, we head this way. Hey, we got a man, you got a man? <laughs> oh my god. This guy, this guy, this old man still working here? Oh my lord. Oh god. He was, he was working here when I went to school. So especially like night school doesn't come to this side. So they Charlie, I, I got my yeah, yeah. So we're doing a, a video for them. <laughs> so our athletic hall of fame um, which I, I got pre-COVID, got the honor to go to one of them to see. It is incredible to hear the story of some of these athletes and the professional athletes. We have T.Y. Hilton, the NFL, we have um, Major League Baseball players. We have Roger Madden. <laughs> you know. So this is hosted in conjunction with the River Cities Gazette. They host the event. The Athletic Hall of Fame. Athletic so or academic? Academic. Sorry. Academic. The academic. That, you know. Uh, no, no, the academic Hall of Fame. It should. It, it yeah, should be. I, I. No, no, yeah. The yearbook does this every year. That's good. That's yeah, yeah. Good. So a new staple in our building are our hot wings. 
This was drawn by uh, students that graduated last year. Oh, there you go, Susie, get in there. Yeah, yeah, you can actually go in and take yourself a little picture. I'll take you a picture. <laughs> so the pieces where all these athletic trophies were, were literally falling apart. So we had two Boy Scouts that graduated two years ago that their final project for the Boy Scouts was to build these and make them with LED efficient lighting. LED efficient lighting and they built and they got the monochrome ox logo on it. Nice. And actually, we're gonna ask those kids to come back because we wanna do this on the other side for a project I'm gonna tell you about when we get to the other side. Do you side. guys still have wood shop? We do not, unfortunately. Oh my God, because these guys, I remember made some amazing, yeah, yeah. amazing stuff. So I mean, you have the plaque there with the Boy Scouts dedicated. There are no, there's no wood shop, there's no metal no, shop. There's... No, I'm gonna show you the wood shop class because now it's actually one of our newer programs that we have. We have trade and logistics now. The, uh, I'm, I want to, I'm in that business, so yeah, yeah. I, I want to get involved. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's, that's what we converted that room now to, a trade and logistics lab. Well, let me get the old guys. Yes, yes. Look at that good looking Cuban right there. <laughs> So the pieces where all these athletic trophies were, were literally falling apart. So we had two Boy Scouts that graduated two years ago that their final project for the Boy Scouts was to build these and make them with LED efficient lighting. LED efficient lighting and they built and they got the monochrome ox logo on it. Nice. And actually, we're gonna ask those kids to come back because we want to do this on the other side for a project I'm gonna tell you about when we get to the other side. Do you side. guys still have wood shop? We do not, unfortunately. Oh my God, because these guys, I remember made some amazing, yeah, yeah, amazing stuff. So I mean, you have the plaque there with the Boy Scouts dedicated. There are no, there's no wood shop, there's no metal no, shop. There's... No, I'm gonna show you the wood shop class because now it's actually one of our newer programs that we have. We have trade and logistics now. The, uh, I'm, I want to, I'm in that business, so yeah, yeah. I, I want to get involved. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, it's, that's what we converted that room now to, a trade and logistics lab. Well, let me get the old guys. Yes, yes. Look at that good looking Cuban right there. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have a partnership now with Prologis yeah. to do trade and logistics. Yeah, program. I'm a, I'm yeah, a yeah. client of that's theirs. Awesome. Yes, that's our newest program. Unfortunately, yeah, that he, means we don't have wood shop. It's the old wood shop room. He's on a trip to. Uh, yes, he's trip. on a field trip today, but I, yeah. I should have the keys for you guys to be able to go inside to see. Yeah, this used to be the, there's no wood shop or metal shop or... Where was the wrestling room? None of that, none of that anymore, unfortunately. Which is stupid to think about. I can't believe this. So we now have a functioning yeah. trade and logistics program. They have simulators. They do simulators with loading trucks and freight trucks. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he actually... They do a packaging service now with the kids where they're loading and unloading with pallets oh. and organizing pallets through the program here. I mean, the program is still pretty young. This is our first graduating class that have finished all four years in the program. And this year's see interns for jobs? Yes, they do. So it's with uh, CTE, with the Career Technical Education. They take a test at the end of the four years, so they get certification within the field. Um, they do internships during the summer. Um, it, it is a fabulous program. They're out on a field trip today at, at FIU. Yeah. I mean, they've been to the Amazon plant. Um, they do monthly Zoom meetings with members of, uh, of the trade and logistics community. 
Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. good. So this is Missy Kaza. She's our help science teacher. How are you? So Fine, she's you? part of the yeah, alumni. Yes. Oh, nice. From some of the original classes. Of oh, nice. School. No, no, Thank no, you. no, no, tanto. Wow. Oh, one oh, of the original. First, school. first decade. Yeah. That's the original. Oh, are you here for that? What, what grade <laughs> class? class of '73. All of us. Yeah. My sister was the first one out of here. Right. Yeah. Nice. You know. Well, we 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 definitely appreciate our alumni coming back. Yeah. We tell that to our students all the time. Come back and give a little bit of your time to our school. We, our, we need it, our te teachers need it. Right. And uh, we would be so grateful. We were just talking about that the other day with another teacher, mm -hmm. that we would love to have that. We, we don't have that. And if we have the support of our alumni, it could make a world of a difference in our school. You know, there was, um, there was um, a, a place in mm -hmm. Georgia, I don't know if it's Georgia or South Carolina. I think it was Georgia. There was uh, something I was looking at in Facebook and anything, but it was a group of parents that men, mm -hmm. they were all men, that were uh, graduates from from a high school. And uh, they were having a lot of problems with the students in terms of cutting class or just behavioral issues. And these men stepped up and they decided they were gonna form a team, you know, of course, and, and they took turns whatever days of the week and whatever, they were telling their story. And them just walking down the hallway, uh, you know, like just the, the pre their presence in the school. Some of them were parents of kids that were in the school. Th that made the school turn around like completely like behavior wise kids were going to class uh you know hey where are you what are you doing out here and and just getting these kids to kind of like even as mentorship like and the kids loved it and they loved yeah. it because yes. they were they could identify because they were actually were a parent of a student they probably knew the student but the fact that they could provide some mentorship just leadership or role mm -hmm. models as as male adults that you know a lot of these boys sometimes don't have father figures right mm -hmm. and yeah. just having uh the adult in the building they were they were you know with their security uh shirt so they knew they were security guards with their walkie talkie and things like that but they ju were there just there for just helping the school you know like with the behavioral mentorship uh you know kids not doing their work but what's going on with you what can we help you with uh, that made that, that that in itself you know according to what the administration said uh, these people being interviewed how the school went from just being a bad school to like a you know pretty good school <laughs> okay. That's, those are our showers. This is scary, freaky, no showers. Huh. There's actually showers on the other end. And that's the, this is, our, this is um, the varsity. Football. Right, yeah. the varsity room. The varsity room. Oh, I might see my old Let's see, I don't know if it's, I may not have the key. Let's see. We may be in love or not. <laughs> They're dressed. Does Susie come in or? Sure, sure. Hey, Susie, come on in. Yeah, it's good. Ah, wait, look. You're in love. I have a key. <laughs> Susie. I want to play. Where's the light? I got the light. Mint. Smells the same. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> smells the same, man. Smells horrible. There's the coach's office. No more coaches' office. And here are the lockers. Roger, let's find out what's up. My wrestling. The block was this one. And all the alcohol right here. There we go. And I was here for wrestling. But for football, I think I was up here one of the top rows. I think I was over here somewhere. You were on the other side. And I was up here. And with my guy and those guys. Now we had right here in the middle, we had the weight, weight machines. machines. We had the, you know. We now have a whole, yeah. we have a whole weight by the back. We had the Nautilus, two Nautilus okay. here. Uni the Universal. Universal. Back then. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It smells, <laughs> smells putrid. Some things never change. Uh -huh. That had died in Vietnam. Do you remember how they brought us all in here? For that, it was our sophomore year. Um, and they were honoring Butler. I, I don't know if he got the uh, the the, uh, the bronze star or uh, he got a really big award. Well, you had medal. Freddie Butler, and you had uh, Bruce Carter that got the Medal of Honor. Bruce Carter, yeah, that's and the one. and yeah, his uh, sister the Cheryl is from our class. That's it. That's the she one. She was married to Tommy Nevins. That's the one. So this floor was just recently redone. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. we just redid our floor. It looks brand new. Everything's beautiful. I remember this coming awesome. here. I remember coming here several years ago 
and this was closed and it was all graffiti. It, it was, it was wow. horrible. Yeah, 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 no. I, our next project over the summer is we need to update our sports banners. Um, like baseball's not up there. Soccer just won their districts again. Ladies soccer has won districts for two out of the past three years. Yeah, they've had was a... It, was it our class that won the first state title with the... Uh, Bunch of Skippy and Ojeda and all those guys, or no? I believe so. Because you're the, you're, the, you're the historian that I got yeah. to. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? In soccer. Yeah, yeah, but they don't, they don't, they didn't count it as an official sport. Because I, I, I had an argument with somebody. Springs won a soccer state championship. Oh, I would bet on that. And, and uh, they said it wasn't an official sport back then. I would bet on that. I would have lost money. I would have said, oh, yeah, I, you won the I, first I, one. Would have lost also. Very nice, very nice. Looks Our great. Were in here too. Yeah. Beautiful. Homecoming oh, yeah. This, so, the last couple of years I've had homecoming dance here. We would have gym. dances almost every weekend, every Friday every night. Friday night. Friday. Every few Friday, you know, you know, it was. Now, now kids have a little bit more expensive taste. You know, they like, for example, our breakfast, our senior breakfast is at Top Golf. The, he was the wrestling coach in my sophomore year back in, that would be 71 and the teacher in here that was the, he was the wrestling coach and the art teacher if you guys look at the look at the roof those are all ceiling tiles done by the kids oh, that's one wow. of her projects that she's doing we're gonna actually do that throughout the building uh where we're gonna take ceiling tiles and the kids are gonna make them hey, you guys are doing some really interesting yeah, stuff good. man very cool Yes, so this is our newly inaugurated courtroom. It was just inaugurated two weeks ago. It's part of our four-year legal studies program. Each year they study a different aspect of the legal system and part of the program is participating in the mock trial competition where they work with the legal community to get ready to actually do an entire trial and compete against other high school students. This is very cool. Our our classes have uh, a number of attorneys, both in the private sector and in the public sector, and uh, they're gonna really dig this. And uh, I'm gonna see if we can get well, them over here, hook them completely. up with your uh, yeah, yeah, with our legal your, studies teacher. Yes, yeah. absolutely, Mr. Nolan would love yeah. that. All right, dig it. Typing class, right? Yeah. Now it's our other magnet program, which is iTech. So it's all technology based. This is game development. This is robotics. This is app and computer development. Oh, happens phenomenal. in this in this in this setting right here. This That's our phenomenal. teacher, Mr. This Barge. Is, this is unbelievable. Barge is some alumni from the class of I don't of understand why. This is phenomenal. And then these yeah. people send their. I don't know why. I, why did I send my kids to private school? This, look, this is awesome. This, this <laughs> is something super cool. These are all games created by kids. The QR code leads you to the game. See, the private they schools aren't doing this. No, they're not. For it, and then they develop the entire game. So all these are functioning games that kids have made here in this program. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. You know what? No private school can compete with this, really, if you think about it. No. This, is where, this is where they should be. Absolutely. They're doing, I mean, they're working with the latest programs here. They're learning stop animation. This is the stuff that they're doing here on a daily basis. Yeah, we, keep, we keep saying it. We're just three of a lot of people that came no, out of here that did okay. This, no, absolutely. absolutely. A lot. This was a typing class. Yeah. <laughs> this used to be the business and, suite. And I, uh, <laughs> and I was one of the few male type people taking <laughs> typing. <laughs> and little did I know, 50 years later, I'm typing my ass off. Yeah. So, yeah. You know? I'm disappointed because I, I didn't take this class for typing. Because uh, I was one of the knuckleheads that go, what am I going to use this for? Yeah. Exactly. You know? I, and then it's like, oh, wait. Yeah. Now, oh, good. I get to use yeah. three or four fingers. Yeah. And I took typing and been using it my whole life. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Unbelievable. So the latest thing we added is game development and esports. So we have an esports program as well. Yeah. And he's developing a team. They just got a grant to add virtual reality 
It's a gaming. That's the new. Yeah, that's the new. What thing. is what is this thing? A ten thousand dollar grant. Oh, to, that's a, to develop that. That's thing. a temporary air conditioner because oh. they're replacing yeah, they're, the old they're replacing ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so so the. I wasn't. Wild. And again, there's a, right. there's a university or a college that's ge geared towards not the but gaming development right. in Orlando, if I'm not mistaken. Or oh yeah, that's one of the best. It's one of the best in the one country. Of the best kept secrets, UCF. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And they have a really big division of there of that. Yeah, and they hire. It, like we've had students go from here to UCF, and two of them had just right prior to COVID, we had two of them visit to say hi. One of them had her internship at NASA and was getting ready for uh, an interview to go work for Tesla. Nice. Um, and the other one is working for, got an internship and while still in college, was working part-time for a company that's up there that designs um, artificial intelligence and predictive mechanisms for weather systems. Hmm. Yeah. Well, my hat's off to you. Thanks. For, for Thanks. wanting to be a teacher and to do this. Yeah. Because I'm sure you can kill it in the private industry. <laughs> yeah, well, I, my wife and I, I was in the private industry and the the position that I had in the private industry was not conducive to having a family. Yeah. Um, so, and, and then things that I did uh, privately, independent of, of my jobs that I did as an independent contractor also kept me traveling a lot. So, so my wife and I agreed that it'd probably be a good idea to teach so that we can have a family and have the same sort of schedule. God bless you. Yeah, so. so we can upgrade, finally. So this is our full working kitchen. It's amazing, you know, it's, these are all, all this is gonna lead to great careers. <laughs> Right we have a variety too, you know, right. it's, it's what you're going to experience in life. And what, and what you like and that you can chase it for a career. Right. Oh, wow. Well, it's amazing. It's a nice home ec class nice junior home high. Yes. Love it. That was culinary. Yes. What well, was home ec? Yeah. Okay. So she has her classroom on the other side, which is where they do the practical. And then they come here and they, so they, um, she was just calling me, they bring in Chefs from like St. Thomas University to teach these kids, um, restaurant chefs, they do safe serve uh, certification. So they know literally the running of a kitchen with CTE certification when they graduate from here. So it's not just cooking, it's the presentation. They're, they do usually what's called the taste of education, where they have to create a three course meal, present, uh, do the recipe, uh, be interviewed a la top shot, you know. Um, they do that here. So they should uh, the River City Festival. They should have a. She's done a couple of years. I don't know if she's going to do it this yeah. year, but she's worked with them. Um, she's been here for about twenty years. The yeah. teacher, Miss Mann, and she's done with stuff with the River City and and with the festival and stuff. Yeah. I got another place she could do it too. Oh. The barbecue. Give him your address. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, this is this is very good. Very cool. Oh, yeah. what's back here? Uh, the ice maker. Ice maker, storage. cleaning storage, all that stuff. Cool. Yeah. So there's six so this is This is a new section. This, this is a new section. This is where the portables used to be yeah. over here. Mm -hmm. So on the top is science classrooms and on the bottom is language arts classrooms. Cool. And we're going to go right over to the edge because I want to show you something that we're doing. Two things we're doing. So, we have aquaponics fish farming that our science kids are doing. Right there. Interesting. That is interesting. And we have an entire edible garden that our science does. Edibles? Yes. What kind Not of edibles? Kind of edibles? Not those kinds, oh, sorry. Man. They just took out radishes today. They were okay. delivering radishes today. Nice. So it's a full-fledged working and, garden. And I see this, the solar panels here. Yep, all this is science department. All this is the science department. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> the escape route. Yes, and actually, his window's right here, so you can actually see everybody from the entrance. He's actually not here today, but that's his window right there. So you can see who comes in and out. Let me see this real quick. Well, there's the front. What did you do already? <laughs> Concerts out here now. We do our pep rallies out here. I do what I call fun time Fridays. I play games. We do like potato sack and wheelbarrow races out here during lunchtime in the open area, you know? After. And we started this tradition with our MSSH here to welcome everybody. Everybody. There's the, the iconic wall. Back of the auditorium. Yeah. Well, thank you. No, thank this you guys. This has been awesome. We will continue to be in touch. Thank Please, you very much. Oh, yeah. email me for anything. Very Absolutely. impressed with and what email. you guys are doing. Email me anything you guys need, any way we can connect. It would be awesome. I, I love it. Thank I love you so it. much. No, no, thank you. All right. Have a great rest of your day and a great weekend. Thank you, yeah. and no, you have a great life. Like, yes. You too, Dale. Dale, thank you. Great, so you're this way. I'm back that way. I'm over here, and you're over here.